Hi everyone, this is Thais here, and today I want to talk about this amazing uh, program here I found for Windows. I don't know, I usually play on PlayStation and Xbox, but I also play on my PC, right? And there's this thing that some games don't really allow you to use your controller wirelessly or don't allow you certain features, and this is where the DS for Windows comes in handy right here. Let's test this on Diablo 4, for example. If you think I'm crazy, I have this game on like uh, PlayStation, Xbox, and now on PC because unfortunately the PTR will not be available on the console. So I kind of need it on PC. Alright, let's start it and see what the problem is. I have currently stopped this program, right? I'm gonna show you why. I let me log in and pick a character and all that, right? Let's start with this guy. This is season three here. I created four necromancers so far i only play hardcore if you follow the channel you probably already know that so the thing here is let's say i want to play with control right i started and let's wait for it okay it's connected but this game doesn't recognize the control i was like you probably will be like what the fuck right let me tell you how it works. Okay, you need a cable. Then it works. Okay. Ah, this might be a little bit problematic. Let me show you how to do this wirelessly now without the cable. No controller connected. Oh, yeah, I need to start it. Okay. And when I started, my controller is connected and playing wirelessly. Right? We have the map and everything. Everything is as if I'm on PlayStation. That's pretty good, right? So let me show you some settings. I let's leave this game, right? There's also this other game that I play. It's called Last Epoch. Alright. Let me switch to my Last Epoch profile. Start playing. I'm gonna play offline. I will show you what this can do. And then we'll move on to what I actually changed to achieve it. Alright. Play offline. I'm gonna start with this character here. I had others, but I deleted them because I died. In this game, hardcore is very funny. When you die, you can play your character again. And as a true hardcore player, I would rather delete it. Okay, so thing is, I'm used to have the inventory and the small button here. Oh, inventory. Normally, you won't be able to do that in this game. Well, let's say I want the map here on uh, pushing this pad. Boom, map, alright. Normally, you can't do this in this game. Uh, or at least I couldn't. Anyway, let's leave the game and talk about uh, this program a bit. Because it's really cool, I think. And it deserves some attention. I would like to mention I am not in any way, of course, sponsored by this. I just like this tool and I would like to share it with you. So what would, what I actually did when uh, adding my uh, controller here is to edit the profile and on the other settings here on other I pick DualShock as its default to Xbox 360. I also have Xbox controllers, but because of my Xbox, but I don't really like them like, compared to the DualSense, right? 
so what we need to change here is the bluetooth o rate especially if you play competitive games you need to set it to one millisecond that's uh, really important and the other thing you probably want to do is adjust the touchpad clicks so touchpad clicks touchpad clicks left right or uh, both sides you want to make it touchpad click that's the important part here uh, save profile apply and all that you can also go to settings make it run at startup you can start it minimized so it doesn't bother you right and i also created a separate profile here for last epoch let's see what it is all right on the touchpad i made it to give me the map like on diablo and this button here i made it to give me i which is the inventory in the game which is pretty much like on diablo that's that's what i feel comfortable with might do some uh, other modifications we'll see the other cool thing is all right let's cancel this uh, auto profiles right you can pick programs to activate certain profiles right steam games directory browse for programs and you can activate certain profiles i didn't do this yet because i still think i need to do some modifications to my last eco epoch profile uh, the terrible thing there is they do not have target lock unlock I don't really mind uh, about the aiming, the aiming is not a problem here, but one of my deaths was because I was trying to escape a certain danger and I used the skill transplant to do so. Unfortunately, at the time, the skill was highlighting the danger I wanted to get out from and instead of it going to the direction where I was pressing my... Uh, my stick here it went straight to the danger itself so i died that that's my first life last epoch death on hardcore you can also see it on the channel i will try to dig in the settings here on how i can get rid of this problem because it could be very dangerous on hardcore like i said but in general i think you get the idea the important thing here is to set the uh, bluetooth polling to one millisecond and also adjust the touchpad so it feels like a dual sense, not a dual shock. Everything else should be the same. I would recommend that you use the emulated controller preset here. Let's say you want to do more profiles, right? Uh, profiles new. And there's this menu which comes up. Do you want to use a preset option? choosing no will cause the profile editor to use an empty gamepad profile so if you know what i if you know what you're doing you can do that but i would suggest that you pick yes and select your controller here because if you don't do this you have to map every every single key like uh, x to x triangle to triangle square to square circle to circle so on and so forth it's probably gonna be a huge waste of time while you already have this preset i will not do a new profile right now because i don't need it but i hope you get the idea there's not much more to add right here i think uh, it's a great program i would recommend to download it and there's also dual, dual sense 5 for windows i didn't re really like it compared to this one ds for windows and you can uh, download it here the latest version and let's see tools there was uh, get started okay it's uh, really well done here explains everything These are the things that you also need. Okay. 
uh, let me see where that was get things started no drivers okay if you don't download these from here when you start the application it will let you download them especially this driver the bus driver you can also download those if you need but that's the required thing also the windows libraries and frameworks this one is uh, linked to an older version there's currently mm, 8 point something if i'm not mistaken and um, it will not run if you don't have those things and you probably already do but um, that's basically it uh, i hope you enjoyed this video and also this program that i showed you here i really did like it because i can bring my experience to the games i like the way i like it and how i'm used to it i don't have to rediscover the game right i'm already good at it but if i don't bring my controls in I'm probably not be so good at it anyway this could work on like any game you want uh, i don't think there's more to add hope you like this size out see you on the next one bye bye